Whoosh. Woomph. Nin, nin, nin. Wow, this is a real ninja. You know, one of those things that we hear in fairy tales. And Naruto. And now One Piece, because finally we are in the Wano arc. And with a brand new arc comes a whole set of new figures. Well, a new Luffy, Nami, Chopper and Zoro at least. This is Tony Tony Chopper in his Chopper Ninja costume from the Wano arc. And you know what? I've been really excited to pick this one up. And my god, the price of Portrait of Pirates has got really expensive as of late. This one cost me around £70. Far cry from the £30 that some of these earlier ones, um, such as uh, the Film Z one, used to cost me all that time ago. So expensive. So expensive. But still, we do it out of love of the series and wanting to have a decent figure of Tony Tony Chopper as a ninja and there we have him in all of his ninja glory absolutely fantastic looking statue and I really like the whole change of having the whole ninja star on him rather than just the usual diamond shaped base sure it is really expensive but you know what you can actually tell the change of quality between this figure and this limited figure of Chopper that came out a few years ago. It's actually a huge amount of difference and this feels more of a premium product. Not that these were ever ever bad but it you can tell the difference. I really like some of the little details where you can kind of just make out the faint shape of his antlers underneath the, the ninja costume and it just feels overall really nice. I really like the shading and the colouring and he just looks so adorably angry. I mean, look at that. He's going to ninja star you and take your waifu. He can change his hands. You can actually remove his hands because, hey, decapitation. And that gives him an awesome looking pose where he's throwing ninja stars to take your waifu. And I really like the way the ninja stars look. It's a nice dynamic looking pose and it's something really different compared to most Portrait of Pirates figures. A lot of Portrait of Pirates figures for a long time suffered with a kind of bland looking pose. If we look at them over the years, the first re-release of Chopper in when Water 7 was released, then the Limited, these both have kind of static looking poses. Even this one from Film Z a few years ago still kind of feels a little bit bland. Sure we did get the uh, the horn point figure but you know what this really does feel like something completely different and you know what I absolutely love it. I'm just waiting on Onami to appear and um, she should be appearing uh, in the next few weeks hopefully and then it's the long wait until we get Orobi and the Nico Robin Geisha uh, until she's been announced and gets released which is kind of weird because when it came down to it, everybody went absolutely mental for Robin's new costume and was probably the most well received out of them. But we're the ones who waiting the longest because hey, we need to have that weird um, Miss All Sunday figure coming out before then. But I'm not going to complain because hey, I'm going to buy that too. But for now, I'm going to leave you with this Ninja Star little guy who is the best anime ninja of all time. Possibly. And if you did like this, don't remember. And if you did like this, remember to leave a like, remember to consider subscribing, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.